Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. I'm playing as Alfred the Great, King of England, uh, and this is episode 10, I believe. Um, sorry for the delay in uploads, I've had a bit of a, bit of a hectic week um, and struggled to find the time to record and edit. Hopefully this is going out on Monday, um, but we'll see, hopefully I have time. Anyway, um, in this episode... I have found a few targets that I want to go for in the British Isles. I couldn't work out why I don't have a Casus Belli here. Maybe it's too far, maybe I need to be neighbours, maybe there's something like that, I don't know. Um, but I do have Casus Belli on Chief of Lothian and the Jarl of Munster. Munster. So I'll be going for both of those, probably starting off with the easy one. Uh, there is a dangerous faction, which is slightly worrying. Um, I imagine this one here, who want independence. These are, I assume, the peasants? Yeah, peasants, okay. And it's be I think it's because they're all uh, Norse. Yeah. Or Asatru. So once I've converted those, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, I would like a claim here, but he's busy uh, converting faith. So I'm sort of stuck doing that, I think. I, I can get a claim. I do spend a lot of uh, my... What is it? P.A.T.? Um, I don't know what happened, so I just go, do I go negative? Do I lose devotion? Oh, I can't request a claim because I don't have it. Okay, there we go. So I can't do that. Um, so for now, I'm just going to declare war on this guy up here. The County of Lothian. Actually. No, it's just the County of Lothian. Okay. Um, so let's do that. I will need to save that piety to go to war with this guy anyway. Um, well, this is loading here, actually, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay, so his troops aren't actually even even here. Uh, let's raise all armies, but I do... I, I probably don't need all of them, so I will disband these guys. Uh, disband. That's fine. Now, if I go there... Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to receive any uh, negatives. Okay, well now. So who, who am I at war with? How many troops? 2,000 troops, it's fine. I can still just live with these guys. Okay, let's go. I'm hoping for a nice, easy victory here. It should be, if nobody else joins. Enemies left the war. That's interesting. Who left? Did he die? No. He no longer has any titles though. That'd be why he left. Oh, the King of um, Cornwall. I can't offer vassalage just yet, but really close. Only minus four. In a dusty corner of the library, I find a tome, bound in leather and inscribed with weird symbols, partially hidden behind other books. It is old, but has obviously seen some recent use. As I leaf through it, it quickly I quickly come to the realisation that it deals with some unconventional knowledge. Um, so, I can read it or gain piety. Could probably do with a piety, but I'm interested to see what it leads, so let's go with that. Probably speed up the siege just a little bit. Um, also, I think I actually have a prisoner. Yes, I do. It's probably worth keeping him, though. I can get 100 gold, but I don't need the gold. It's the, uh, yeah, the Jarl of this place. So I don't really, I don't need to. Enforce those demands. Disband all. There we go. Nice and easy. 
I now own Edinburgh, which I will give away. And we know how much I love um, searching for people to give land to. I'm surprised, like, oh, my knights, for example. Are they all vassals already? Yeah, it looks like they are. So I can't give them land, which is annoying. What about one of my sons? Nine-year-old son. Do I just give it to him to get over with? Sod it. Go on. Nine years old. That's okay. They can live with that. Right, now I'm going to have to wait because I can't um, afford the duchy. It's 80. So not long to wait, hopefully. Finish the battles. Uh, this prisoner for 10 gold may as well. Why not? Come on, my contracts. Don't really care. New up titles. To the rattling King Alfred, we have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We are done paying your taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, we wish you had treated us more fairly. So the peasant rabble start a war. Spawns an army of peasant rebels proportional to the country's levies. Now. With six and a half thousand men, I should be able to take on peasants. Let's give it a shot. We do have quite a lot, but only two and a half thousand. Let's move, move this somewhere a bit more central. They're all going into the ocean though, god knows where they're going. Let's just raise all armies and see what happens. I have no idea where they're going. He's coming back. Um, greetings, my liege. He's a vassal of Mon Montague. I'd be delighted if your son Ulf could visit my court in Montague. Uh, yeah, how old? My seven-year-old, okay. To meet his peers, I'm inviting everyone of note, which unfortunately includes him. A bit rude, but okay. I will lose stress. Yeah, go on. I'm no, no longer overwhelmed by stress, thank God. So you guys go into the Isle of Wight, let's go there. And then you guys... I don't know where they're heading. I would be delighted to be your son, my other son, my nine-year-old could visit. Of course he'll be there. Delighted with my daughter. Yep, yeah, of course she'll be there. This is a great way to lose stress. Okay, he's coming to land here, so let's go and meet him there. No, nope, he's running off again. I know that you are Jarl Ivar's real killer. I don't know why people are getting aggy at this, like, surely it was a good thing he died, right? What happens if I become a murderer? Just, do people dislike me? I imagine people just dislike me. I'll accept it. Uh, okay, over here. Let's just go and land straight there. I've had so many notifications, I'm actually a bit confused what's going on now. Is it not tell me what's under siege? No, clearly not. Are they down here? Servant of the Horned God. Oh God, okay. As I open my eyes in the dark, I am really overwhelmed by an ominous feeling. Is someone watching me? Are you ready to embrace the truth, Alfred? I sit up, suddenly completely awake. I look around for the source of the unfamiliar woman's voice, but there are only shadows. The horned god offers you his blessing. Will you accept it? So I can become a witch. This was unexpected. Do I do it? <laughs> Why not? Let's become a witch. So, Alfred, um, where is it? Uh, 
Oh, it's just a secret, so I'm not actually a witch yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, but this is a interesting turn of events. So once I kill these guys... Oh, he bloody escaped. Never mind. Okay, so I won the Peasant Uprising, that was easy. Oh, I've lost... Um, why have I lost piety? I didn't. I don't think the um, witch event made me lose piety. I'm just looking at if people give me gold here, which none of them do. Yeah. Oh, I can offer vassalage to uh, the king of Cornwall now. I give him low feudal, feudal, feudal obligations, he will accept, which I'm happy to do. Yay! So that's one step closer, and I'm tempted. This guy is just my liege. But I will give it to the Duke here. Uh, Grant Vassal, Earl of Devon. Duke, Mancuse, yeah, Grand Vassal. So now this guy is, yeah, the Legion of Cornwall. Because that's the Duchy of Cornwall there. I don't believe there's any more to it. It's just these two, yeah. So, okay, that's easy. Get rid of those. Oh, available perk, okay. Loyalty and respect. Skills from spouse counselor tasks, okay, that'd be nice. It will improve my stats just a little bit. Um, so this is the lady that I have a... That has blackmailed me. So she just wants low levy contribution. That's fine. I can live with that. I'm not sure how much the uh, my vassals give me anyway, actually. Faction created against you is fine. That's fine. Um, is he still converting? Two years left, okay, yeah. Shame I can't do both at the same time. That's all fine. He's swayed again, I can probably stop swaying him now. Outliving my rival. When my jailer brought my joyous news, I could scarce believe it. My rival scold has finally perished in my dungeon. Why was she my rival? What does she do? Okay, she just seems like an innocent, um, well, physician, to be honest. To think that I would live in a world free from that witch and to think that I was the one who brought it about, I'm so happy I could dance. She wasn't a witch, was she? No. Well, I lose a lot of stress and gain prestige. She just died in captivity. Okay, nice. Well, that solves the stress problem quite, uh, quite nicely. We made it to the year 900. How old am I now? 51, okay. I genuinely did not think I would uh, make it to this age. So that's really impressive. My other my other playthroughs, I've died much, much quicker. Oh, okay. So, these guys are now at war. You've literally been in this position. For how long? And you're, you're all at war, okay. I liked this Cornish guy. Liberty's faction disbanded. Uh, how much did I need for this? Was it 80? 80. Plush and exotic carpet. A plush carpet, vibrant and soft, arises as a gift from King Lothair. Uh, why would he would send me such an exquisite gift? I do not know, but a fine weave of carpet is as pleasing to the touch as the skin of a lover. Uh, is this some sort of... Um, plot to kill me? So I can get monthly prestige, but hostile scheme resistance is minus 10. Well, I can get 50 gold and plus 10. 
Well, I don't know why he would want to kill me. Where is he? Down here. So I've got such a oh, is that that guy? Okay, that big king. I'm not sure I can close these. Get rid of that. Uh, my daughter is now an adult. They grow up fast. Great. I mean, he probably does want these from me. I'll get rid of it. Let's get the 50 gold. I don't trust him. She can marry. Let's get her married then. I want someone with a good alliance. Kingdom of Asturias, 4,500 men. Um, get the four-year-old would marry matrilin matrilineally. Oh, game's still playing. Um, do I need the matrilineal man marriage? Should I get the twelve-year-old? That would we have to wait t twelve years. She'll be twenty-eight by the time she marries. Let's do it. Why not? Same proposal. Create titles. Do I need to create titles? I don't know. Let's stop swaying. Because he's probably going to lose his war. Well, actually, he might have it. With uh, his ally from... Twice. Uh, the patrol has gone through, that's good. Alliance formed, nice. Get rid of that. So yeah, it'll probably be okay, that's good. Uh, I'm just waiting for my thing to go up. Martial lifestyle, peacemaker, peace acceptance plus 10%. Okay, so that'd be easier to win wars? Uh oh. I have ridden, taken aim, and struck so many times I thought nothing could upset my rhythm. As I take yet another gallop down the practice range, a commotion I cannot fully see makes my horse rear up. For an instant, momentum keeps me pinned to the back of the horse as it starts shaking. Then, as if time is flowing slow, I can feel myself becoming dislodged. Is somebody trying to kill me? So I can try and gain experienced rider, but that more chance of being wounded. Oh, I can dive for stable ground. And lose prestige. Let's lose prestige. I know the point of this is to die, but I don't want to die unnecessarily. Uh, and he won. And he's taken Devon for himself. Don't blame him. I made it his capital. Fair enough. I am passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voice of Ethelhild and a Gilfu to my ear. The two courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot nearby, frequently glancing around to make sure nobody is listening. While it is hard for me to make out the most of their words from a distance, it is clear that discussion relates to Earl Alfweed, who is the Earl of Lancashire. So I can imprison them, and he gets more opinion on me. Um, I can try and see what they are. I can torture them, okay. Or I just lose 10 dread. How much dread do I have? I have 10 dread, okay. Um... Do I care if this guy dies? What is he? He's my spy master with 11 injury. To be honest, probably not, right? Oh, my nephew, okay. Because um, I mean, this guy is 21. I'm just not going to do anything. Not going to do anything, see what happens. I call to war. To the charming King Alfred of England, I call on you to honour our alliance and join me in the war for Count Ernst's claim on the Duchy of Nordgau. Okay, so I'm allied with who? Bavaria? 
didn't realize, I didn't realize I was allied to Bavaria. I get to war against two counts. Well, I mean, I will accept, but you've probably got it under control. Oh, she probably only has about three, 3,000 men. Oh, let's just see what happens over there. For now, I'm going to declare the Holy War for the Duchy of Munster. Declare war. Now, I don't know if I can, but I want to move this over here. Yes, I can. So I raise all armies here. Uh, the Northmen army. Oh, God, okay. How many troops has he got? Eight and a half thousand. Oh, jeez. Right. So this has taken a turn that I did not expect. Um, so, not sure what to do about that. Right, so those two. Let's just see where they turn up. It's probably worth me getting in here as quickly as I can. Why am I losing at war with these guys? No. Twenty six casualties, I don't care about twenty six casualties, that's fine. And twenty five casualties, that's fine. Let's take this as quickly as we can. And then we can focus on focus on the other war that I've just been. Here we go. The Northern Menace. A horde of disjointed pirates, landless freemen, desperate lesser children, and other assorted miscreants have joined Gudthrude in his proposed assault against my holdings. Although the size of the force is formidable, they lack discipline or loyalty, with each scrounged mercenary focused exclusively on what they can get out of the war first and foremost. Unlike in conventional foe, it might be possible to simply deal directly with the invaders. Perhaps a bargain could be struck. Um, okay, so... So I could just fight them, fight the Nords the old-fashioned way. I could give them the kingdom of the petty kingdom of Deer, so Yorkshire up here. I could pay them off. Shall I just pay them off? 600 gold. They won't attack me for five years. I'm honestly tempted just to pay them off. How many men does he have now? Eight and a half. Okay, special soldiers. He's an Ivar son again. Son of Ivar. Boneless. These guys, honestly, such a pain. They've been a pain the entire series. I'm going to pay them off. So I won. Um, and I actually got a level of fame for that. Nice. Um... Right, well, now that uh, threat is out of the way, I'm going to end the episode here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I didn't do as much as I actually thought I would. I only took the one conquest. Fought the peasant war. And uh, fought off, wink, the Norse invaders. Um, so, yeah. Like if you liked the video, and I will catch you next time. Bye.